Deep in the Gulf of Mexico, a solitary figure tightens bolts on a towering metal behemoth. Waves crash against the platform. The wind howls. Offshore oil rig workers are handsomely rewarded for their dangerous, demanding work. Starting salaries easily surpass those of many land-based professions. A tempting siren song for those unafraid of hard work and isolation. The allure of quick wealth draws people from all walks of life. Former teachers, ex-military and small-town hopefuls all find themselves shoulder to shoulder. But the money comes at a price, grueling schedules, the ever-present threat of danger lurking beneath the waves. Imagine a city of steel rising from the ocean depths. This is an offshore oil rig, a marvel of engineering and human endeavor. These self-sufficient behemoths are home to hundreds of workers. They eat, sleep, and work for weeks on end, sustained by a lifeline to the mainland. Life on a rig is a delicate dance between man and machine. Massive cranes swing overhead, their steel cables lifting tons of equipment. The air hums with the constant thrum of generators. Every inch of space serves a purpose, a testament to the ingenuity required to operate in such an unforgiving environment. Below the deck, a labyrinth of pipes and valves snakes through the platform's underbelly. This intricate network carries the lifeblood of the Operation Crude Oil. Amidst the steel and machinery, there's a sense of community. The journey to work is no ordinary commute. It begins with a jarring wake-up call, often before the sun is even considered rising. Workers gather ready to trade the familiar comforts of home for the steel embrace of the rig. Transportation depends on the rig's location. Some require a helicopter ride, a dizzying ballet over endless blue. Others necessitate a boat trip cutting through choppy waters to reach their destination. Each journey is a reminder of their isolation, the vastness of the ocean swallowing them whole. The helicopter ride, a staple of offshore life, is not for the faint of heart. The world shrinks beneath them as they soar over miles of open water. Upon arrival, the transition is stark. Home for the next few weeks is a cramped cabin, a far cry from the comforts they left behind. Life on a rig operates on a different clock, a relentless cycle of 12-hour shifts. Day and night blend seamlessly, the only constant being the whirring of machinery and the murmur of voices on the radio. Workers adapt to this unusual schedule, their bodies and minds adjusting to the demands of this isolated world. The work is demanding, requiring a unique blend of physical strength and mental acuity. Every task is crucial, every worker a vital cog in the well-oiled machine. Days blur together punctuated by meals, brief moments of rest, and the camaraderie of their fellow workers. Stories are shared, jokes exchanged, and bonds forged in the crucible of shared experience. The outside world fades away, replaced by the immediate reality of life on the rig. And then, just as suddenly as it began, their hitch is over. Danger Zone, When Nature Shows Its Teeth The sea is a fickle mistress, capable of both breathtaking beauty and terrifying fury. Offshore oil rig workers live with this duality every day. They work amidst the elements, exposed to the raw power of nature in all its glory. Storms are a constant threat, transforming the calm waters into a raging tempest. Waves the size of buildings crash against the platform, testing the limits of human engineering. The wind howls like a banshee, threatening to rip the rig from its moorings. Hurricane season brings a special kind of fear. These monstrous storms can cripple even the sturdiest of platforms. The sea is an unforgiving environment, demanding respect and offering no second chances. Steel nerves, safety, first, second, and always. In this world of inherent danger, safety is paramount. Every day begins with a safety briefing, a reminder of the risks involved and the importance of vigilance. Workers are drilled on emergency procedures, their every move governed by a strict set of protocols designed to mitigate risk. Personal protective equipment is not optional, it's a lifeline. Hard hats, steel-toed boots and fire-retardant coveralls are constant companions. Every worker is trained in first aid and CPR, ready to respond to any emergency. The rig becomes a microcosm of preparedness, a testament to the human desire to control the uncontrollable. Regular safety drills are a way of life. Fire alarms blare, sending workers scrambling to their designated muster stations. Lifeboat drills ensure that everyone knows their role in the event of an evacuation. Brotherhood of Steel. Bonds forged in isolation. The isolation of rig life forges an unbreakable bond between workers. Thrown together in close quarters, they rely on each other for companionship, 
support, and a much needed dose of humor. The shared experience of living and working in such an extreme environment creates a camaraderie rarely found elsewhere. Downtime is precious, and it's often spent in the company of their fellow workers. The mess hall transforms into a social hub, filled with laughter and the clatter of cutlery. Stories are shared, jokes exchanged, and bonds deepened over plates of hearty food. Card games and movies provide a welcome distraction from the monotony of work. In this isolated world, these moments of shared humanity take on an added significance. Section 8 Chow Time Tales from the Mess Hall The clang of the dinner bell is a welcome sound on the rig, signaling a break from the day's labors and a chance to refuel. It's a moment everyone looks forward to, a brief respite from the demanding and often grueling work that defines life on an offshore platform. The mess hall, a haven of warmth and camaraderie, becomes the social hub of the platform. It's more than just a place to eat. It's where bonds are formed and strengthened, where laughter echoes off the walls, and where the sense of community truly comes alive. Here, workers gather to share stories, swap jokes, and indulge in the simple pleasure of a good meal. The tales told range from the day's events to personal anecdotes, creating a tapestry of shared experiences that knit the crew closer together. The food, often surprisingly good given the remote location, is a testament to the skill of the cooks. These culinary wizards work magic with limited resources, turning out meals that not only satisfy hunger but also provide comfort and a taste of home. From hearty breakfast to multi-course dinners, they work tirelessly to ensure that the workers are well-fed and energized. The effort put into each meal is evident, with dishes that are both nutritious and delicious, catering to the needs of those who work long, hard hours. The menu is a mix of comfort food classics and regional specialties, catering to the diverse tastes of the crew. Whether it's a familiar dish from home or something new and exciting, there's always something to look forward to at mealtime. Mealtimes are a melting pot of cultures and backgrounds, a chance for workers from all walks of life to connect over a shared table. It's a unique opportunity to learn about different traditions and cuisines, fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation of each other's heritage. The mess hall becomes a microcosm of the world, a place where differences are celebrated and friendships are forged. In this space, the barriers of language and culture dissolve, replaced by the universal language of good food and shared experiences. It's a reminder that, no matter where we come from, we all find common ground in the simple act of breaking bread together. Section 9. Cabin Fever, Finding Solace Amidst the Waves The solitude of the sea can be both a blessing and a curse. For some, it's a chance to escape the noise and distractions of modern life. For others, it can be a breeding ground for loneliness and introspection. Finding ways to cope with the isolation is crucial to maintaining mental well-being. Some workers find solace in reading, losing themselves in the pages of a good book. Others turn to music, their headphones a barrier against the constant hum of the rig. The internet, when available, provides a lifeline to the outside world, allowing them to stay connected with loved ones. Physical fitness becomes more than just a way to stay in shape. It's a mental release. The rig gym, often small but well-equipped, provides an outlet for stress and a way to burn off excess energy. Section 10. Unsung Heroes. The Hidden World Beneath the Waves. While the oil rig itself is a marvel of engineering, it's the unseen world beneath the waves that truly captures the imagination. Divers, often working in near-total darkness and under immense pressure, play a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of the platform. These underwater heroes are the unseen eyes and hands of the operation. They inspect the rig's submerged structures for signs of corrosion or damage, repair pipelines, and install specialized equipment. Their work is dangerous and demanding, requiring a unique set of skills and an unflinching nerve. Clad in bulky diving suits and tethered to the surface by a lifeline, they descend into a world of eerie silence and limited visibility. Their efforts often go unnoticed by those on the surface, but their contribution to the success of the operation is undeniable. Section 11 Sirens Call the Enduring Allure of the Offshore Life Life on an offshore oil rig is not for everyone, it's a life of sacrifice, danger, and relentless monotony. Yet for those who answer its call, it can be strangely addictive. The allure of high pay, the camaraderie of their fellow workers, and the satisfaction of conquering a challenging environment create a powerful sense of purpose. The money is undoubtedly a major draw. The long hours and inherent risks are offset by the promise of financial security. 
Many workers use their earnings to provide for their families, buy homes, or pursue their passions. The allure of a better future is a powerful motivator, but it's more than just the money. There's a certain breed of person who thrives in this environment. They are the modern-day pioneers, drawn to the challenge and the unknown.